Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. Decrypting a message using RSA public key cryptography involves calculating high powers in modular arithmetic. The decryption equation is m is congruent to c to the d power modulus n. For example, we might have to calculate m equals 30 to the 27th power mod 55. The problem we run into is that calculators can't handle 30 to the 27th power. That's an enormous number. But luckily, we know that the product of the residues is the residue of the product. Let's see what that means. In this example, we're going to break up the value 30 to the 27th power into smaller, more manageable pieces. We know that 27 is divisible by 3, so we could reasonably break this up into 30 to the third power 9 times. Or in other words, 30 to the third to the ninth power, mod 55. And the reason that this is helpful is that we know that we can just find 30 to the third mod 55 and multiply whatever that number is times itself 9 times. 30 to the third can be found on a calculator. 30 raised to the third power is 27,000. Now, if we want to know what that's equal to, modulus 55, what we're really saying is if we divided 27,000 by 55, what would the remainder be? Dividing by 55 gives us this very long decimal. The decimal portion is the remainder. So I'm going to subtract off the whole number part, and I get the fraction 0 0.9090, etc. Now the way we got that fraction was dividing by 55, dividing the remainder by 55. So what I'm going to do is multiply by 55 to reverse that process. And what we get is 50. This tells us that the remainder, when we divide 27,000 by 55, is 50. Or in other words, that 30 to the third power, 27,000, is congruent to 50 mod 55. Now what we can try to do at this point is raise 50 to the ninth power and see if our calculator can handle it. Raising 50 to the ninth power gives us a very large number. Your calculator might not be able to go out to this number of decimal places, in which case what you would see is that it would shift into scientific notation mode. And the problem with that is you would not know if you had an exact value. And what I would need to do is break this up again. So for example, instead of 50 to the ninth power mod 55, I could think of this as 50 to the third power multiplied times itself three times, or in other words, raised to the third power. But because the product of the residues is the residue of the product, I could take the residue, or the remainder, of 50 to the third divided by 55, and then multiply that value three times. So we're going to find 50 to the third mod 55, and whatever that result is, we're going to raise that to the third power. 50 to the third is 125,000. We want to divide that by 55 and find the remainder. Dividing by 55, we get this very long decimal. It's the decimal portion of this number that represents the remainder over 55. So I'm going to subtract off the whole number part, 2,272, leaving only the decimal portion. Multiply by 55 to reverse the process. So the remainder is actually 40. So this expression is equal to 40 mod 55 raised to the third power, or 40 to the third mod 55. So slowly we're whittling this down to something that's more manageable. 40 to the third can be calculated pretty easily. 40 to the third is 64,000. We want to find that mod 55, so dividing by 55 and finding the remainder. We get this long decimal, we subtract off the whole number part. This leaves the decimal part which we multiply times the modulus, and so we see that the remainder is 35. So 40 to the third mod 55 is the same as 35 mod 55. So our answer is that m is 35 mod 55. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. If you have any questions about this or any other questions, leave them in the comments below.